Previously on Power Slap Entertainment. Oh no, I just got fired. And I'm pregnant. And the big dance is tomorrow. Mamma mia. Dreamin', don't give it up me. Dreamin', don't give it up me. Dreamin', don't give it up me. Dreamin', don't go give it up, give it up, give it Oh, yo, this is a story. Oh, all of my life got flipped, turned upside down. Okay, let's start the video. So I just been fired on the first day of my internship that would allow me to graduate high school. And my mom was coming to pick me up. And as we all know, when you're dealing with an angry Hispanic mom, there's only two options to be had, either the belt or the chancla. And we're not talking about character customization. Thankfully, my mom is awesome. And her only response to me being fired is, ya que, or now what? Well, if you read the title of this video, you would know that I got rehired, but not at TJ Maxx, but the bookstore, Barnes & Noble. And let me tell you, some strange stuff went down there. Basically, this video is just going to be centered around me systematically ruining every relationship I had with every employee there. So I walk in wearing a long sleeve t-shirt because all my other fancy t-shirts were thrashed and I introduced myself to the manager, Rick. Hey, I'm the new intern, Carlos. All right, Cody, do me a big favor and smile. That's what the people like. Uh, okay. Also, what's the deal with your shirt? Don't you have a Carlos shirt? Don't say you spill tacos on your shirt. Don't say you spill tacos on your shirt. Yeah, I have one. It's it's in the shop. Anyways, go talk to all the other interns. They'll give you a run through. First impressions of Rick, caffeined up and busy. So I walk towards the other interns. Hey, newbie. My name is Austin and this is Trent. I'm Trent. See that owl over there marked with an A? That's where all the A books are. Yeah, and you see that B owl over there? That's where all the B books are. And you see that aisle over there? Let me guess. That's where all the C books are. Who the hell told you that? After meeting with everyone, I was immediately put in charge of the customer service section. And once again, I was trash at my job. Excuse me, do you know where the Harry Potter books are? Try the H section. Nope, I already checked. Uh, Rick, do you know where the Harry Potter books are? Yeah, man, yeah. You see that big stand over there that says Harry Potter? It's like to the right of that. For some reason, the barns that I worked at like taking books out of places that people could find them and placing them in obscure locations that only employees knew about. This sucked for me since I was new, but also because I was highly incompetent. One of my first non-customer service tasks I had was to place a shipment of books in the respective stands. Since I had no idea what I was doing, I was being supervised by this female employee. So you know how to use a scanner, right? I felt the need to impress her, so I rushed out an answer. Yes. She then left me alone for about an hour and when she came back, I had accidentally placed all the graphic novels in the autobiography stand and vice versa. George Washington isn't a superhero. Pfft, you tell that to America. Needless to say, I was never put in charge of stocking anything ever again. Pretty much every employee I came into contact with grew to hate me. Luckily, since I was young and didn't really follow the dress code, I remained pretty under the radar for the rest of the employees. So, a few weeks into my internship, an older employee named Angela offers to give me some collared shirts, and I politely decline. The next day, while I'm in the break room, she brings me two shirts. You can work in these, sweetie. No thanks. I appreciate it, though. Oh, I insist, sweetie. Uh, okay. I guess I'll take these. When I get home, I realize that neither of the shirts were my size, so I decide to, uh, keep wearing my long sleeve shirts to work. Sweetie, where are your shirts? They didn't fit me. Okay, bring them back. I thought they were a gift, but I guess she has a point. Funny thing is that every time I came back to bring the shirts, she was never there. So over time, I just stopped bringing the shirts, and this resulted in me getting mad dog by an old woman almost every other day at work. It got so bad that I didn't even take breaks, so I had a lot of time to talk with, uh, interesting customers. Yo, where are all the books to make money? Do you want anything specifically? I want that moolah, them paper, them stacks. Uh, the computer isn't showing anything for them stacks. Y'all keeping them in the back? I'm finna become a billionaire, son. I didn't know how to respond to this, so I just kind of went to the back and grabbed a random book with the word investing on it. Just remember, man. When, not if, you become a billionaire. Remember who sold you this book. He then gave me a thumbs up and evaporated behind a sea of shelves. People were surprisingly enthusiastic about getting books. Sometimes it got to levels that I couldn't even comprehend. This one time, Rick came up to me and said, I don't want to alarm you guys. There's a guy walking around with a hidden bottle of broken glass. Stay frosty. Then he just left. We didn't even have a security guard. Like, what am I supposed to do? Stay outside a stabbing range? I told Austin about this because Trent quit because he was just doing this for work experience. And when I saw him outside and I wanted to give him a high five, he was with his friends and he declined my high five. So screw you, Trent. Tangent aside. <laughs> tangent. 
Tangerine aside, I tell Austin about this and we were on Stat Patrol the whole night. Dude, what do you think his motives are? Knowledge! I don't want to die over some books. Yeah, I want to die valiantly over some PDFs. We spent most of our shift looking for this mystery stab man, but we never found him. Worst of all was that our manager Rick was always disappearing on us. He only ever showed up at the beginning or the end of our shifts. Nice job out there guys, keep it up. What about the guy? What guy? The glass bottle dude, we were terrified. Huh, you call that terrified? I call that Tuesday. Ha 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 he then told us that the guy left and there was nothing to worry about. This got Austin and I speculating about Rick's past, now we always knew everything. For example, this one time I was managing the customer service desk and this dude came in asking for an application. The guy was wearing a bandana, some cholo shirts, the cross, <laughs> and as I was reaching for the application under the desk, Rick came barreling in. He put his hand over the applications under the desk and said, sorry, we aren't hiring right now. And when the guy left, he looked at me and said something along the lines of, This industry is cutthroat. I've been watching you, and you've always got this look on your face. How about you smile more? How would he even know that if I never physically see him? Was he watching me through the cameras? Honestly, I wouldn't be too surprised since on one of my last days, I found out that I wasn't even legally allowed to work there. I was at the magazine rack pretending to work when an older guy approached me. Hey, uh, you work here, right? Well, I have a name tag, so I guess. My wife told me to let you know that there's a huge mess in the women's restroom. Huh. Uh. Okay, I'll go talk to the manager. So I'll make my way over to Rick to tell him about the situation, and when I get there, he's talking to some people wearing suits. Hey Rick, there's a situation in the bathroom. Is this one of your employees? <laughs> no, this is my nephew. Just play along. Goo goo gaga? Apparently he was talking to people from corporate and when they left he confessed to me that he decided to use interns as a way to boost up his branch's numbers. I was probably 17 at the time and I was stuck between two options. Sue Barnes and Noble and potentially get one million dollars or continue working there for a couple more months, graduate high school, and later make a YouTube video about how much I sucked at my job. Well, there's not much that I really took away from this except maybe that uh, retail sucks. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like it. I'm pretty sure it doesn't do anything besides help my self-esteem. And let me know if you guys had any weird work experiences at your workplace. <laughs>